up guys welcome back once again it is me Mo. so happy to be here with you guys today we are on the town hall 10 and we are crushing it with some loony in guys that's right let's go ahead and go in here check out my attack log look at those top two attacks almost both of them are almost 100 percent and look at the loot on those things we're gonna go ahead and replay this one and then after we replay these we're gonna show you guys a live raid as well so uh obviously this guy's base is dead his infernos are empty as are his expos. So we're going to go ahead <clears throat> and drop off uh, our loons to take out the uh, the archer towers on the sides. And we're going to drop a little bit more to take out those archer towers next to the uh, air defenses. And we are just going to have our minions start working down here on, uh, on all of the resources. Then we're going to take out those archer towers from the top with the rest of those balloons. And you can see our loons are making their way into the center of the base right now um, because this guy's base is not upgraded too well. This was an awesome find for me. Uh, I have been trying to get as much gold as possible because I am upgrading my walls. Uh, I am farming. Obviously, you guys know that I'm in the Clan Eliminate Farms, which is going really well. Uh, all the footage from these crazy loot raids and whatnot is from my clan mates, so it's been pretty awesome so far. But we are working our way in with our minions. I dropped off both of my heroes up at the top of the base and they are going to get in there. I don't have to worry about anything except for those what looks like level 1 Teslas I believe. Um, all the other defenses beside that wizard tower are down uh, and that mortar up top but those aren't going to do that much damage to my heroes. So we've pretty much gotten all of the loot so far. 324,000 gold, 259,000 elixir and then uh, 1400 dark elixir but as you guys saw at the beginning we do three star this bad boy so let's go ahead and zoom in focus on the middle right here both of my heroes are level 22 thanks to that most recent max out episode my king is working his way in there with his iron fist ability saying uh uh my iron fist is going to take you out so there go the defenses there's only one left that can actually do damage to either of them uh, which is that tesla and it's doing practically nothing so i'm not too worried about that uh, we're going to go ahead and use our queen's ability right there, her uh, cloak, and she is full health, so we're not going to have to worry about any of that. 99% king's like, wait, I want to get a hit on it, but these walls are in the way, no! And he takes it out. So, 328,000 gold, 200, 279,000 elixir, and uh, 1,463 dark elixir. So, that one is awesome, plus that little loot bonus from there. And then let's go back and watch the... Oh, no, that's the one that we just watched. <laughs> we don't want to watch that one again. I mean, we can because it was awesome loot, but we'll go watch a different one. So we'll watch uh, this one that I just did a couple minutes ago. Um, <clears throat> this one was a little bit uh, harder, obviously, because the Expos actually had stuff in it, but we're going to drop off three lightning spells uh, right down here. I had those trained up for Barch, and we're going to take out that, uh, that Wizard Tower as well as that Air Defense and then I'm going to drop off the other two right here on this wizard tower. Um, come on. There they go. And if you drop it directly in the middle, it will take out the wizard tower. But you have to make sure that you drop them in the middle. Otherwise, you might run into some issues. So this guy, I don't know why he has two single target in front of towers up here. But uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for putting them up there because that way I'm able to come in and destroy your base. So... We're going to take out that other air defense up at the top. There's an air bomb up there doing some damage, but that air defense already had a good amount of damage to it. The balloons are going to work their way into the archer tower right there. And then we're just going to drop off the rest of our loons over here on the side and get them going in. We're going to drop off our king and our queen now that they can just head straight in and start taking out some of this loot. We've already gotten 100,000 of the elixir, but there's so much more loot in the middle of this guy's base. Uh, he's going to get on and be like, man... I should have put my multi-target Inferno Towers next to my Town Hall. Because if he'd had multi-target Inferno Towers up there, this wouldn't have gone nearly as well as it did. Even if he put them in the middle uh, instead of those mortars, he would have protected his loot so much better. But whatever, man. I guess if you want to have single-target Inferno Towers on the edge of your base, that's fine with me. So we've already gotten a good amount of loot. We're still working our way around. <clears throat> we almost get a three-star in this. Um, if I had saved... A couple of my uh, my minions towards the end, then we probably would have gotten it. Um, but you can see we're working our way around. These two kings are standing next to each other, looking like they've been hypnotized or something. All three of them are standing next to each other. That looks hilarious. Uh, the queen's working her way around. Uh, almost all of the gold is gone, um, and almost all the dark elixir is gone. It's about to be gone, right? About 
now. So all that is gone, and the queen's working her way around. We've already used her ability, uh, but if I had saved some, if I had saved like one extra, even just one minion right here, uh, and dropped, or even two, whatever it may have been, and dropped them right now once that air defense was down, we would have been golden uh, because there's no more air defenses left. But we can go ahead and fast forward through this. The queen's going to jump through there, and she's going to get targeted by that cannon just barely. She's going to take out two of those mines and then start shooting that wall like she always does. But that's another great, great loot rate, guys. 97% um, on that. But we've got another army comp trained up, so I'm going to go ahead and search and see what I can find, and then I'll be back with you guys in just a couple of seconds, all right? All right, guys, so we're going to attack this one because there is a lot of Dark Elixir in there, and I really do think that I will be able to get to it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and drop off uh, a Rage Spell right here and a Rage Spell right here, and I'm just going to spam in my balloons like that. Bring in our... I'm way out of the screen. Bring in our minions behind them, uh, and hopefully we can get in here to this Dark Elixir. Uh, come on, guys. Go towards the center. There we go. So they're heading on in. I'm going to go ahead and drop off my heroes as well. Uh, those Inferno Towers are wrecking house right now. But um, once these balloons get up in there, there they go. Then they should... Come on, head towards it. Head towards the, head towards the Inferno Tower. All right, so we're, go we're definitely going to get the, uh, the Dark Elixir because we've got our queen up in there. Um, go ahead and use the king's ability right there. Queen is taking it out. Use the Queen's ability as well. Get her to take out that Inferno Tower. Take out the Inferno Tower, Queen. Come on! <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so, that's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted the Dark Elixir. We went after it. I don't really care about the loot bonus when I see that much Dark Elixir. Uh, so we'll go ahead and surrender that one. Yes, and what did we get? We got exa <laughs> exactly 3,000 Dark Elixir. <laughs> I've never seen an exact number like that from a storage. Normally you just get that from like the mines and pumps. So exactly 3,000 Dark Elixir, guys. 179,000 gold, not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and return home. And um, we'll train up some more since I've got my barracks boosted. Uh, I always do eight in each one. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I boost one of my... Uh, and then I boost one of my dark barracks and put 40 minions in there and they'll all train up in a good amount of time. Uh, that way you don't waste extra gems on that other one. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then let's go ahead and upgrade a couple of walls. I'm probably going to keep, I might upgrade one wall with elixir, but I want to keep the rest of it. Um, let's find some other joint walls. So we'll upgrade this and we'll upgrade the one right next to it. <coughs> and uh, let's see... Where else? Where else? Let's upgrade this one right here as well. And we are doing good. Guys, we're upgrading a lot of these walls. Let's see how many we have uh, done. We've got 169 done. Wow, we've only got 81 left. Gosh, I can't wait. I can't freaking wait. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this loony and loot. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.